Hi guys, Mike Greer here, and you're looking at my NetVibes dashboard. And I'd like to share with you how you can use this dashboard, uh, which is available free from NetVibes, to customize your internet experience, to focus you on all of those topics that you need to be updated in, and more importantly, to continually provide you with new information in the fields that you, as a self-directed learner, as someone who's seeking continuing education opportunities, uh, can, can stay up to date in the various fields. As you see here, when I open my computer, the first thing I see is this page. And I get updated very quickly in the weather and the news. Each of these little widgets is a different news source and so forth. But then there are also tabs across the top that are topically related. And these sort of call out to me and say, hey, guy, shouldn't you be finding out what the latest management authors are talking about in their various blogs. I, after all, write management uh, blogs, so I click on that tab. And I'm also reminded of tech stuff. Check on that because I've, I'm tracking certain technical developments in different areas and so forth. Uh, in the fields of educational technology and learning, I have a bunch of feeds as well. Okay, so the object of the game here is that rather than bouncing all over the place and being pulled into a bunch of ads and uh, and looking at uh, the latest kitty video that somebody has, I can immediately get behind my dashboard, uh, get behind what NetVibes calls this dynamic workspace where I can add my own apps and feeds. Uh, and in fact, I could share some of these pages if I choose as well. And we could have more than one person uh, accessing them and working with them. So um, there's a lot of power here. And I'm going to show you how you can use this to enhance your internet experience and uh, kind of clean it up and stay focused. Now, here's how you can get your NetVibes account. You go to netvibes.com and you're not an agency or an enterprise. You're just me. So you click get started. and what you're going to get is some payment options. And of course, you want to start with a freebie to get to know it. Clicking on that, get started, and it will offer to set up some popular dashboards, uh, sort of like templates almost in various areas. And uh, so you click your default there, and up comes a blank page. You notice it's just loaded with all kinds of stuff here. Uh, it has for some reason decided that I'm interested in the weather in Paris and USA Today and all that stuff. So there's an email wizard. Pick the email source that you're interested in and pull in your email. If we look down through here. We've got Twitter, Facebook, um, even an eBay thing. Uh, NetVibes has its own little blog and so forth. So it's just real easy to just say, I'm really not interested and uh, I don't like USA Today, so I'm going to delete it. So it's gone, just that simple. And continue to work with this and clean it up and set it up any way you want. Okay. Making a new tab, I'm going to decide that what I want here is a topic I'm going to call project management. I'll just call it PM, and I'll know what that means. And in that easy, my tab is created. I don't want this. I don't want this. And so forth. So, Okay, so I deleted all the default stuff. And now I have two blank tabs. So I'm going to pull in. Uh, so I'm going to add to this, you see. I can, I can choose, by the way, you can choose a number of different layouts, three boxes, four boxes and so forth. I like these uh, three columns, so I'm just going to stick with that. I can change colors and do some other stuff, I believe. I can, share, I can choose whether or not I share this with folks as well. So let's just take those three boxes as my layout and close that. And now I'm going to say, let's add content. So I go up here, and one of my favorite blogs is PM Hut, which stands for Project Management Hut. So I can type that into search, and hey, it captured their feed. I can preview that feed. So look at this. OK, it's a widget preview. Before I even add it, I can decide if I like the kinds of stuff that I see coming at me here. So of course, I know this blog, so I'm going to say, yeah, add it to my page. All right. And 
that's the most recent seven. Uh, by changing the options, though, I can give that a lovely little blue color. And I can also get into the settings and tell it, look, I would like to have the first dozen. So as you see here, uh, if I refresh my page, comes up. Now I have the most recent 12. Now, another way you can subscribe to blogs or news sources is to simply navigate to the web page. So let's say we want to subscribe to uh, the best free training. Click there. And we navigate down and we, we're looking for this symbol. This is the RSS symbol. And RSS, it doesn't matter what it stands for. Just know this. You click on this and you can subscribe. So I'm going to click on it. And up comes the FeedBurner subscription. It says, do you want to subscribe with NetVibes? That's a choice. Of course, it knows NetVibes is awake. So I'm going to click on that. And it comes into my NetVibes account. And I say, it, it shows me what the most recent posts are. And it says, what do you think? Do you want to add it? And I say, sure. Let's add that to the dashboard. So now, in addition to the Project Management Hut, I've got the best free training. These can be moved around and adjust them as you see fit. So let's subscribe to another one. My worth sharing. Hey, isn't it amazing that it's all my stuff I'm finding here? So we get down here, click on I'm at the worst sharing the website, and rather than, you know, it's all right here. So I click on this symbol, and up comes some choices. You want to subscribe with NetVibes. Usually it, it, it'll give you the NetVibes choice. And into our page we go, adding it to the dashboard. And I want to be able to tell these apart. So, you know, I can adjust the color, as I've showed. We made this one blue earlier. And we can change the amount of the feed that comes through and so forth. Let's try adding the TED Talks. That's, let's preview it, see what it's going to look like. And notice there's that little symbol. And now here's the way the TED Talks feed is going to look. So I think, well, that's pretty cool. I'll add that to my page. Okay. And again, like the other ones, we can change the color bar across the top, and we can change the way that they uh, that it appears. So. And one of the benefits, a really powerful benefit, is that uh, of looking at these feeds through these widgets is that they're coming in in just headline form. And you can see if you're interested in those headlines. But you, you could have it also provide for you a few lines. Uh, there's a number of different ways you can set the settings. So let's say that uh, uh, in the options, we go to, um, we say, show more details. Uh, okay, and then I choose done. And now I've got a little topic sentence and some other stuff, just a little synopsis sort of. And we do the same thing over here on worth sharing and see what happens. Okay, uh, I'm saying, look, uh, show more details. All right, but now the power here is that you don't have to be pulled into that website and get all tangled up in the ads and the other clicks and, and the offerings that they have there, but rather you can skim, see which topics you're interested in, and uh, you know, have it in a little bit more expanded form or have it in simply the headline form. Now what you're looking at here is a screenshot from my Android tablet after I've gone to my NetVibes homepage. And the great thing is that it automatically formats and knows that I'm using a tablet and it changes the format and makes it uh, uh, the nice tighter mobile configuration. So. Uh, it's really a lot of different devices are recognized by NetVibes, and this will enable you to, you know, get it all set up at your computer, set up the tabs and everything that you want, and and clean it all up and make them pretty. But for your streamlined reading, for when you want to just kick back, put your feet up, and NetVibes automatically adjusts to match the requirements of that device. So your continuing education truly is continuing uh, away from the computer, uh, out on the porch, put your feet up. So as you can see, it's a real power tool. For the self-directed learner, here's all my tabs, tech stuff, management stuff, my own blogs, so I don't keep trying to write the same article, um, training and ed tech stuff, and my optimal living zone. All of these feeds continually updated for my own professional and uh, personal growth interests. 
So if you're a self-directed learner and you find yourself being distracted and pulled in a number of different directions, go to NetVibes, get yourself a NetVibes account, set up your own custom dashboard and bring some discipline to your web experience and enhance your own continuing education.